All right, welcome everybody. Appreciate all of you coming out. I'm the Deputy Garrison Commander, like uh, Ms. White said. I'm here on behalf of Colonel Baker and Command Sergeant Major Butterbrot. They're kind of out of it right now. TDY, and they have uh, some various meetings with some senior leaders. So let's go to the next slide. Okay, some of you may have seen this already, but I want to call each and every one of you part of the team. You already saw Installation Management Command. We're all a team here. And I just wanted to kind of show you the strategic landscape. So we do have about 15, correction, 14 camps, nine sites, and six training areas. So all this AOR is comprised of uh, about 2,000 civilian and military personnel making sure that we're ready, you've heard the term, fight tonight. So if something right now, of course, we're in peacetime mode, right? But actually it's an armistice, as a lot of you do know. Um, so you see me as, an as, a, as a civilian. We're here just like a lot of you guys in uniform. If something happens, we call it emergency essential civilians. So we're here with you. That's why we call ourselves a complete team. So this whole strategic landscape is about 78 miles stretching from, you guys are aware of uh, the Yonsan Enclave, maybe some of you have been there, you've heard of the Dragon Hill. Uh, right now that's being closed up, not the Dragon Hill, but Yonsan, we're still doing the closure activities with that. If you've been here in Korea before, it's changed quite a bit due to transformation, some of the initiative, Yonsan relocation plan, and the land partnership plan. So we're giving some things back to the Korean government. So we are in a state of transformation, but still the mission goes on. So let's go to the next slide. So these are a lot of the services, all the services that is, that the garrison provides along with our tenant units. So I see this location and other locations we have as being a self-contained city. To make it simply put, you can look at the garrison commander, even though he does wear a uniform, he's like the mayor. He's making sure he takes care of you guys' well-being. DPW, Director of Public Works, make sure the electricity is on, make sure the water is running. If you have any barracks issue, DPW is the one to take care of that. Director of uh, Morale and Welfare Recreation, which is, which is doing this thing here uh, for you guys as far as the newcomers' orientation, they're the ones that take care of the well-being, the recreation, the sports, all that good stuff. And they do have a really, just based upon what you saw in that strategic landscape, they do have a really uh, big mission here. And then we have other components of the garrison that takes care of things like force protection. We do have MPs. We do have security personnel. So in summary, it's just like being in a city and working with our tenant partners like our Logistics Readiness Center will take care of transformation, uh, correction, transportation, the buses, and work with uh, other functions such as finance, et cetera. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, the Army Barracks Management Program, so that's one of the Sergeant Major's uh, big priorities. Uh, again, working with the Sergeant Majors, all the first sergeants that are out there, they're the key, and the individuals on the right, in the entities, they are the key stakeholders. Garrison commander, like I said before, sergeant major. Then you have the battalions, all the way down to your squad teams and platoons. So very important that everybody is working together to make sure the Army Barracks Management Program is the way it should be. Again, it goes to well-being and taking care of you guys, where you live and work. Next slide. So the things I want to point out on this slide, the garrison role is to really work closely with the units and the soldiers, showing them the right way to take care of the barracks. If they have any issues, who are the point of contact to call, usually as director of the public works, DPW. And as far as the units, I mean, simply put, maintaining good order and discipline, taking care of our, our facilities. Uh, because we are limited where budget is concerned, so we want to make sure we have enough money to do all that other good stuff to make sure your stay here is well worth it. And the soldiers, again, common sense, just doing the right thing when it comes to taking care of your barracks, 
your home for your stay here. Next slide. Some of the things that the Garrison Command Sergeant Major oversees, they oversee, again, it's the virus management program. When it comes to cleanliness, they do have meetings that occur every month, uh, correction, bi-weekly. It's at the Camp KC Theater. And also another thing that he's really concerned about, and we all in general, is boss, better opportunities for single soldiers. So there are some meetings with that that occur. And again, we want everybody to be included in there, whether you're a single soldier or not, but it's all part of this whole team concept. We also want Katusas to be participating as well. Next slide. The digital garrison application is something that you can download that tells you all the events that's going on within a garrison, within a community. Uh, one of the things I just saw in my email today is that through the garrison application, Military star. So you'll see that AFES during Veterans Day, which is tomorrow, um, will be offering a lot of sales. So you want to stay in tune with that. And Thanksgiving, of course, their Black Friday, and then towards the Christmas holiday. So a lot of stuff going on. But if you download the digital application, you'll see a lot of things associated with the commissary, what they have going on, uh, movies, etc. Okay, as far as MWR, uh, again, like I said before, they do have a lot of things going on. Here's one of the ways you can keep abreast of what's, what's, what's happening within the community, their monthly magazine. Also, they do have a good Facebook site that you can go to. Uh, but on this slide, besides what I'm showing with MWR, one of the things I want you to take attention of, pay attention of, is the interactive customer evaluation, better known as ICE. So, like what I tell everybody in the garrison, if you have any ways of making things better around here, continuous improvement, this is one way you can give us feedback, whether it's good or negative. And one of the things I also tell people is that you, anybody can throw something on ice or input something on ice, but if you leave your contact information, there's no retribution at all, you can leave a miscellaneous email address, that's what I tell people, you can leave your phone number, whatever. That's the way of us personally getting in touch with you to see what your concern is. How can we do things better? So I always encourage individuals with your contact information because most of the stuff that we receive is always miscellaneous. I don't like the food and the defect. It's like, okay, um, let's talk about it. Let's see how we can do better. We can get with the tenant organization and see what can be done about a better selection or whatever. So that's my plug on ICE. That may be the last slide. Okay, anybody have any questions for me at all? Don't be shy. I'm here. Yes, ma'am. I don't have a question, but um, for the Digital Garrison app, it's very, very important. If you have barracks issues, the Army Maintenance Program has a link on the top of that Digital Garrison app. So if you have an issue with your barracks, the quickest way for that to get to your DPW to make repairs is to go to that Digital Garrison app. So definitely, definitely go to your phone and download that in your app store. Thank you. Anybody been here in Korea before? Anybody? Second timers, third timers, like me, a sixth timer? <laughs> okay. So, well, like I tell a lot of people, some things have changed, some things haven't. It's just that and you'll hear this over and over again. Just be aware of, your cult of the culture that's out there. Korea is a very great place, but just be a good host. So, any other questions at all? Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>